The best thing about Sagrada is rolling down. Mm-hmm. Welcome back to another episode of Beards and a Board Thingy. Two beards. Two beards and a board. And game. a board game. That's what we do here. We Sometimes. have beards and we play games. That is we, a fact. We tell you about them. So today we have a uh, Sagrado. Sagrada. Sagrada. I never knew how to pronounce this until Charlie looked up the correct. Yes, I looked it up, and as I I saw the name, it kind of resonated with me a little bit. And as I was searching it, Sagrada Familia came up, which also kind of resonated in me. It's a ginormous Catholic church in Barcelona. Yes. That was, it's this. It's actually, yes, it's on the stained glass window church. in there. It is a huge church that was started in 1882 and is not done, but it's huge. It's right in the middle of Barcelona and it's just bam. Yeah, it's massive. It is huge. It's awesome looking. It's it would be cool, cool to go to. I would, if I'm ever in Barcelona, I am definitely, yeah, definitely taking a tour. Out. So oh, yeah. anyway, that aside, this is a dra- uh, dice drafting and placement yes. game. Yes. It plays okay. one to four and it takes about 30 minutes, which I would say is pretty true, depending on how long it takes people to decide what die they want to pick up and where they place it. Yes, there's a ton of strategy in this game. Yes. So I, both of us, we, we played it this past weekend and for a couple of our turns we kind of went in the tank, so to speak, the right. think tank, to figure out which die should I pick, which one can I get back to me, and like, you need to plan your turns ahead or you can potentially screw yourself over. Right, right. And I mean, I got, we got blown, well, I got blown away as far as points go. I came in last because we just did not get the points, the, the pips that we needed on the correct die, and it was just, it was a bad mm-hmm. game for us. Um, but I love this game. This game is insanely popular. While we were waiting to start the video, I was looking at the back of this. This is actually the fourth printing of this game, and it hasn't, I don't think, been out a complete year. No, I think I looked on Kickstarter, and it looked like they were back in stock in September. So it means they released before that. So it's yeah. been out maybe a year at most. Yeah. I managed to snag this from a guy on one of our board game Facebook groups that we're in. Um, luckily, but like, you know, you can't, as far as I know, you can't just go out and buy this at retail right now. You've got to go. I have never seen it in a eBay, store. No. eBay or, I saw it in, um, in Barnes & Noble once, but I hadn't played it yet, so I didn't know anything about it. But you can go on eBay or Amazon and get yourself a copy. Um, definitely recommend it. It's really cool. It is a dice drafting game. Uh, you've got your stained glass window. I don't know if you can see on the front here. We'll add some pictures. Uh, but you've got your board, and at the beginning of the game, you're going to choose uh, a pattern. You get dealt out two pattern cards, and they're double sided, so you're going to choose which one of those you want right. to try to complete. There's different levels of difficulty, yes. which give you a certain amount of tokens for using tools and whatnot to right. kind of help you in your adventure to construct your stained glass window. Right. Right. But the beef of the game is rolling die, picking your dice, and, uh, you know, the first player rolls out, if you're playing a full four people, rolls out nine dice, Mm -hmm. and picks one, and then it goes around, and then back. So the last player to pick gets to pick twice. Right. To kind of even it out. I refer to that as a a, uh, fantasy sports junkie. It's a snake draft. There you go. Yep. Much like that. And so you're, you're constantly going and your boards have colors and numbers on them and then you have to match the, the colors and the correct numbers. And then it's tricky because you can't have two of the same numbers or two of the same colors uh, directly next to each other. Right. So there's a ton of strategy and there's a ton of thinking about where you need to place your die. And then there's a couple of tool cards. Everybody has access to three tools, and mm-hmm. those change every game. I think there's a total of 12 different ones. Do maybe. they get dealt out randomly? Yeah, they just get dealt out randomly. You just shuffle up the little tool deck and put them out randomly. So there's a bunch of different tools. So that changes every game. You know, the different patterns you pick from change every game. So the, the replay value, as far as that goes, um, is pretty good. Ultimately, you're still always pretty much doing the same thing when you're, you know, you're rolling die. Yes. You're, yes. You're drafting. There's die. definitely some replay value in it. I will want to play this several times because I love drafting games. Right. And it's drafting with strategy and placement and trying to figure things out ahead of time, almost, almost like a Rubik's cube, mm-hmm. so to think. Mm-hmm. So I love games like that. It's not going to deter me from not playing it right. again. However, there is kind of a finite number of combinations you can get Achieve. to. So that is true. If you're a hardcore gamer and you're going to play this game a lot, you're going to reach its end life pretty quickly. Right. If right. you're a casual gamer, you can definitely keep this on your shelf for several years, 
pick it up every so often yeah. and still feel fresh enough that it's all right we're playing sagrada again yeah and it's a, it, it's a family game too so you know it the box says 13 plus I think you could go lower with that. Okay. I, mean, I saw this on the cruise we went to. Yeah, this that's past, the first time we played this, it over the, the winter, and this was all over the place. Mm -hmm. And there were several families just playing it. Yeah, yeah. This is an insanely popular game. Yes. Like I said, it's, it's pretty hard to get a hold of right now. I'm sure that they're going. They're doing another printing of it. I can't imagine why they wouldn't. So I'm sure it'll probably hit shelves as the fifth printing, or the sixth. I don't even know mm -hmm. how far back we are on this, but, but yeah, it's definitely worth picking it up. As far as rating goes, I would go Amish 6 out of 7. I'm going to go one step back. It's a uh, Lumberjack. Lumberjack. Those ratings are hard to remember sometimes. Yeah, and one side note is that if you've watched a lot of our videos, we don't do a lot of four-player games. And that's normally because we have at least six people on our game nights. Right. However, we do branch out every once in a while when it comes down to a special game. However, we were when we were doing the prep for this video, Charlie found out that they are making a fifth and sixth player expansion. Yes. Which is is That's not be in, an instant buy for us, I think. Yes. Supposedly June. We'll see what happens. It's not in pre order yet. You can go to this place's website if you want to pick it's that up. Floodgate and, Games. Yep, Floodgate I don't know if we Games. We mentioned that before. I'm not sure, I don't think we did. Um you can put your email in there, they'll email you when the pre orders come out. And for me, I mean that's instantly I'm going to pre-order right away because I would love to get this in front of our entire game group at once. Right, and I just, it's going to be all the more strategic with six players. Right. Because if you're that first person that rolls those dice and you get your first pick, you're waiting for a five, lot of a picks. Lot of turns. You know, five people to pick mm -hmm. and, you know, snaking back to you. So yes. There's going to be a lot of thinking, which one can you wheel, so to speak, as far as, you know, magic right. window goes. Right. And as we look at this, there's actually another picture of the Sagrada Familia on the back. Oh, is it? Where it's showing it, and you're pointing to the spires, and it looks like... Because the idea on Kickstarter I saw is that you're an architect constructing your stained glass, stained glass for, for the Sagrada Familia. Right. right, which is a cool concept. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, the last thing I'm going to say about the game is it's it is there's a lot of strategy. A lot of strategy involved. However, the game itself does not feel hectic. It's actually a very, at least for me, it feels like a very soothing game. There's not like a, you know, with your typical games where you've got to, you know, move a bunch of stuff and there's immediate threats and all of that kind of stuff. This is just a more of a relaxed, kicked back game, and I enjoyed it for that factor. Right. You know, like I said, there's a ton of strategy in this game, which I love, but I didn't feel like I was nerve-wracked right. or right. felt any anxiety of playing right. the game if you're playing a dungeon crawler and you're getting surrounded right. and things are getting on you it's intense and you almost kind of have some anxiety right this yes felt very relaxing yeah it just says i wouldn't call it an in-between game because it does take a little bit longer yes however if you just played a really heavy game this is a much lighter game mm -hmm. that you don't need a ton of thinking if you don't want to right and easy setup Everybody gets a board, everybody, everybody gets a yeah. tile pattern. You get to throw out a couple of cards for tools and the objectives, and you're off and running. And you're off and running. So, very easy set up. The dice, the, um, I guess I'll say one other thing. The uh, tray in here is nice. Holds everything very, very well. So, mm -hmm. yeah. All in all, I mean, definitely suggest it. If you can get a copy of it without spending a billion dollars right now, uh, wait until the next print run comes to your local store. It's definitely worth picking up. Very much so. Well, we appreciate you watching the video, guys. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you later.